the Army for years has had the Bradley fighting vehicle, and that system uh, has a 25 millimeter Bushmaster chain gun on it. And that, that chain gun itself has been highly, highly reliable and in the Army's inventory for many years. And so with the advancements in, in threat armor and threat fighting vehicles from around the world, uh, the Army wants a weapon system that has you know, much more greater lethality, more range. And so in the future, when the Army moves to its new fighting vehicle, it's gonna have the XM913 50 millimeter Bushmaster chain gun uh, integrated into that system. So the XM913 is the cannon that's been selected by the Army for whatever their next fighting vehicle will be. And so what this gun brings is the same reliability as the 25 millimeter gun that served the Bradley so well. It is an electrically driven chain, chain gun. This gun will be integrated onto every vehicle that uh, the Army will produce next uh, for their infantry fighting vehicles. And so this gun brings the same reliability that all of our Bushmaster chain guns uh, provide. And so it's electrically driven, so there's no stoppage. If a round, for some reason, uh, does not fire, it just is driven out of, out of the gun and the next round comes, comes in behind it. And so also, along with reliability, is lethality. And so what we have here, I just have a couple of the different rounds. And so, you know, if you look real quick, this is a 25 millimeter round. This is the one uh, that's been used with the, the Bradley fighting vehicle for years with that 25 millimeter gun. So this is a 50 millimeter round. And so you can easily see uh, the, the, the difference in the lethality that this much larger warhead brings. One of the things that we are developing is an armor piercing round. And so that'll be a very key capability of the gun uh, to fire this armor piercing round when it's up against peer and near peer threats uh, on the battlefield. So the XM913 is far into its development and testing, and we've had very good results with it. And we've produced a number of them already uh, that have been delivered to the Army for, for their development and for their uh, demonstration purposes to, to understand the gun better, to see how it works, and to see what lethality is going to bring uh, to that future fighting vehicle.